What's going on guys? It's Mark from Prime Toys Media. Welcome to the Weekend Toy Review. Today we're taking a look at what I think is a great army builder. The Riot Gear Glen from The Walking Dead by McFarland Toys. So let's go. Alright guys, here's what I think is one of the most slept on army building figures of recent years. Yes, you've got the uh, Stormtroopers, you've got Cobra Troopers, but... What do you do when you want a discount SWAT team or a police force? That's where Glenn comes in. Riot gear Glenn, no less. Right? He's got his helmet, gun, billy club, another gun, gas can, riot shield with blood splatter. Let's take a look at the package here real quick. Nice bubble package. Back's got a couple other characters that you can get. Uh, what do we got on there? The Governor, Riot Gear, Glenn himself, a zombie, and the Governor's daughter, Penny. Oh, it's Michonne's pet zombie. These figures are smaller than most. I think they're about five inches tall. We'll get the ruler out in a second uh, once we get them out of the package. If it's your first time here, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment what you want to see maybe more of in the future. Uh, I open toys old and new. Let's crack Glenn open. So again, out of the package, you can see some of that detail. Looks like the neck strap for underneath his helmet. Nice touch. Very, very bloody, bloody shield. I did pick up a couple of these guys because they were, again, really, really cheap. So maybe some alcohol I can wash off the blood on a few of the shields and leave it on others. Gas can, not an accessory I was thinking I really needed a lot of, but you never know. And like I said, another service weapon and the Billy Club. Now this is based off the comic book series and not the TV show. That's why this Glenn is bald. All right, there we go. Glenn out of the box altogether. I did have one issue. If you can see in my glove there, I did end up breaking his chin strap. It's a very tiny couple pieces, and honestly, I'm not surprised that it happened. Uh, so future versions, I don't think I'll put them on the figure at all. It's not like you can really see them anyway. There is a lot of neat details. You know, can's actually got some heft to it. Starting off, look at that mask. The visor comes off uh, very easily, I must say. It's not a bad thing. Also gives you the opportunity to flip it up if you'd like. The shield has to go on the left arm, but his hand isn't open enough to easily grab the, the second grip. Uh, I took players and had to pry his fingers open enough. Thank you, Modern Plastics. Unlike G.I. Joe's of the past, I would have broken his entire hand in half. Uh, I may, just because it's my toy and I can do what I want, I might cut the bottom of the shield handle so I can just slide it down on top of or through the grip instead of trying to pry his hand open again if I ever take it out. His guns do fit in his holsters. This one not as well as the other side. The holster on this side fits really nice. It's got the little snap if you wanted to hold it in place. For some reason this one doesn't go all the way down. I kept finagling. It might be just this particular figure. Again, I'll see when I get the other ones out. Uh, chest details of the, the armor is really neat. You can see all the little details in the Kevlar and in the different, uh, what would you call that? The, the fabric. You know, the two-toned paint's a nice touch too. Got the more matted in the back with the shiny for the actual armor. Uh, as for articulation, let's get his head thing off. Now the pieces, like his helmet there, do attach very, very tightly. And it looks like I may have scratched the paint on, on Glenn's head. Oh, it's coming off, but 
I don't plan on having them without the helmet on too often anyway. But for articulation's sake, his head turns, his arms rotate. He does have elbow joints, but they're single, they're not double. So he's limited in that articulation. His hands, oops, spin and rotate and do all kinds of fun stuff. Uh, I tried to pop one off so that I could get the shield on easier, maybe if it was a separate from his wrist and I wasn't able to but I've been on a roll of breaking the toys lately so I was trying not to break that as well his arm does hinge out a little bit but not too much waist swivel very very minimal it's about as far as you can go leg doesn't go very far either uh, I'm not sure. It's got to be because of the the extra armor they put on. Single jointed leg. And his foot pivots. Everything is a ratchet. So you've got very specific spots where it'll kind of lock in place. I like Glenn. I think he'll still serve my purpose. Because I didn't tell you guys or show you. I mean... Glenn is five inches tall. There we go. So to put that in scale, let's grab a couple figures. Yikes. Oh, that's that's awkward. All right, so Diamond Select Hulk, way, way bigger. But again, I'll show you what I have in mind when I do the photos at the end of the video. Master Chief, also very, very large. In comparison to young Master Glenn. Okay, McFarlane Batman. Again, these McFarlane Walking Dead figures from the comic book series. They're small compared to a lot of what we're getting lately in terms of figure size. Him standing again. Vegeta, Dragon Ball Super. Again, a little too big for the normal playing with. But let me get some photos going here so you can see what I had in mind with this figure. <laughs> 